Hey, it's Daryl, aka Rotor Baron. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a light box for cheap. And here we are. At the dollar store, I said. I think it's about 98 and humidity probably close to that. I'm dressed appropriately. So Lee came to the rescue on that one. That's what friends are for. And we have our loot. In other words, dollar store foam board. And we are on our way. Step one, remove the 3D printed corners from the printer. I designed these in Fusion 360. Step two is to clean out all the support material. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn on the camera when I was filming it, so I'm pretending to clean it out here on this one last part. Okay, so our first step in making the light box is cutting out the pieces of foam core. So I've got a nice stack of foam core, five pieces, and we're gonna go ahead and measure this out. So. What we're shooting for, uh, my box was 16 by 16 by 16, so everything is real easy to cut out. Uh, my buddy wants his box to be slightly more larger than my box by six inches. So mine was 16 by 16, so we're gonna use cutting mat that we have here and measure that out. Jump it off to the side. I'm just going to line that up with a corner. And then you guys probably can't see that right there. Make sure everything's flat. And come up to this first line. Otherwise, I can't see the numbers for the measurement. So 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 22. Just wanted to count to be sure I can do simple math sometimes. So I'm going to make a mark on 22 there. Pencil. And that's the second line from the end of the mat. So I know up here, that's also 22. So that is our length. So now what I have to try to do is inscribe a line without anything that long. Let's see if I can do this with a tape measure. The answer is no. Got enough of a line started there. Give me at least a reference point. So I'll fill in the rest with a regular straight edge. Okay. So we've got one line at 22 inches, and now we want to go 16 inches deep. So we'll use that same trick with the mat. You notice we're also using the side of the foam board that's a sticker on it because these are hard to get off and they leave a mark. All right, so I'll go ahead and mark it this at 16. And then over here, I'm 
gonna do here now is use the square. Make sure I get a nice subtle line off this mark. Just take that a little bit. With that nice intersection. Get that blue in line. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to cut is this line right here. That'll make this distance shorter to cut in the long run. So as you can see there, my knife blade is pretty dull. So I'm going to replace that. You can buy these in a hundred packs. Um, Tower Hobbies, I'm sure there are a lot of other places out there, standard number 11 size blades. Otherwise you can buy them in five packs at, you know, 10 bucks each and it's just ridiculous. straight edge, a ruler as a straight edge I should say, and start to make my cut. This doesn't have to be perfect, just as good as you can get it. And I'm not going to try to cut it all the way through on the first try, and that's a new blade. I'm just going to score. This is compressed a little bit, so that's the way it cut. One piece down, and put B in the corner for bottom. And we'll move on to our next five pieces.
Ta-da! Measure the inside of the box here. In the LED form. So, guessing right. It's too low, that's about right. Tall this one is so we can make one for this side and now we'll measure at the bottom because I want three stripes of LEDs going across the top and since the bottom is the same width of the top it's a lot easier to measure After assembling the box, the next step is to solder the LEDs together. First I'll solder on the connection for the 12 volt adapter. Then I'll solder each strip together with two wires, one for positive and one for negative. I'm soldering the LED strips end to end to make serial connections. However, I'll branch off another series of LED strips from the middle of the lights that go around.
Okay, we have all our LED strips soldered together and it's time to put them in the box. Now that I've got the lights mounted in the box, I want to test continuity with my multimeter. This way I make sure that nothing blows up when I plug it in. Here we are with our completed photography light box. Got our black background installed and a red tie that we're going to photograph. Here they are. Thanks for coming along with me on this build. It was fun, uh, pretty cheap. Yes, you probably could have got the same thing off of Amazon. Uh, you know, a little pop-up pop -up tent kind of thing, uh, which are really cool. Um, but I went and tried to see if I could make it myself, and I did, and so can you.